This is absolutely a mobile app that you dream of having. It only takes two seconds. Anything can be delivered to your doorstep. Taro has just ordered a burger. The delivery girl appears at the door. It's simply unbelievable. He tells his wife Kunko Yumeko about it. Kunko thinks it's just a coincidence. She asks Taro to place another order. And the next second, the delivery girl appears again. Despite Kunko's concern that Taro might be interested in the delivery girl. Which woman can resist the joy of receiving a package? Every time it takes only two seconds for delivery. Even when steaks from the United States arrive they are still steaming hot. However Taro thinks of a question. The hallway lights are motion sensor lights. They always turn on when someone walks by. But when the delivery girl comes, the hallway is pitch black. Could this app connect to another world? Can it deliver anything? To prove their hypothesis the two start a delivery experiment. The first time they propose delivering 1 million in cash. The system indicates it will cost 1 million and 800. Trying to get rich through the app. Clearly it's not feasible. Uh, uh, the second time Kunko proposes delivering a lost ring, the ring is indeed delivered back. It seems that items belonging to oneself can be delivered, and the delivery fee is always 800. The third time Kunko requests delivery of a pet lost several years ago, the miracle happens again. Kunko who works as a nurse at the hospital has been taking care of an elderly man. One day the old man can't find the watch given by his deceased wife. Stirring up Kunko's longing for her own mother, she suddenly has a bold idea. Unexpectedly the app displays a delivery fee of a staggering 160 million, equal to the sum of her mother's lifetime earnings. Kunko without hesitation presses the delivery button, however. But very quickly the couple finds a clever trick. As long as Taro fills in Kunko's name, the delivery girl can bring Kunko to him in two seconds, regardless of who is delivering. The cost is only 800, much more cost effective than taking a taxi or crowded subway. <laughs> They think this low-budget version of a portal can lead them to a happy life. Unfortunately on their wedding anniversary, Taro prepares a big meal, but Kunko can't make it back due to overtime work. Neither is willing to compromise with the other, so they coincidentally both use the delivery service in the app. This time the system glitches. The couple is sent to another world by the delivery girl. They can't go back. Fortunately the internet still works. Taro quickly seeks help from friends, but the delivery fee for non-spousal relationships is over 200 million. The friends hang up as soon as they hear. Time passes quickly. After a year, the despairing couple is now living separately and sleeping, can't stand looking at each other. One day Taro has a sudden insight. He hands Kunko a divorce certificate, revealing the method to escape this place. <laughs> However, Taro overestimates himself. He frantically seeks marriage through the internet, but the responses he gets are all, you are a good person, just as he is about to collapse. Kunko mysteriously disappears. That old man in the hospital who is wealthy, willing to spend 200 million to deliver Kunko. The condition is to marry him. Taro becomes furious. He turns on the app, wanting to deliver Kunko back to his side. At that moment the cost still shows 800, but when he clicks it, the cost has already updated to 200 million. Two-second delivery. This imaginative setting satirizes the fragile trust between spouses in contemporary society. It's worth deep consideration for everyone. In the end Taro can't escape this place. He cries and begs the delivery girl. Since he can't beat them then he joins them.